Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Apple Vision Pro. I've been using this device for over a week and I must say I absolutely love it. I've done a full review on this device where I talk about how this device is for those individuals who work from home, like me, and have really embraced the remote work lifestyle. So if you wanna check that review out of mine, you can click the link above or in the description below to check that out. And of course, this device has its pros, but it also has its cons. So I've done a full pros and cons video as well, which you can check that out. I've done actually a lot of videos on the Apple Vision Pro, so be sure to check those out in my channel. So after extensively using this device for over a week and getting a lot of questions about whether it's worth it or not, it's been hard to answer that question because on one hand, I really, really love this device. I do think it's magical when you actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's completely changed the way I work. And at the same time, I do think that this is a glimpse into the future of what Apple is trying to do and what I think technology in general is going to be like. We're going to be immersed in different environments and we'll be able to be a lot more productive and be able to entertain ourselves with such devices. But at the same time, as much as I love this device, I have to be honest, I don't think I recommend it. And there's two reasons why I can't recommend this device. So that's what I wanna go over today. So I already mentioned why I love it. I love it not because of its entertainment features or the immersive gaming or video conferencing. It's just how I can use this as a work device, right? But not everyone works from home. Not everyone has that remote work lifestyle. And even if they do, this device may not be for everyone who works. And maybe you don't wanna wear this headset while working and that's totally understandable. The reason why I'm buying this may not be a reason for many others. So that's one thing that you have to consider. So if I take the work from home aspect aside, and if I wasn't buying this as a productivity tool, I would probably return this. And once again, let me just go back to the two things that I wanted to talk about. So the first thing is as much as I like the way this looks, because I think this looks way better than all the other headsets out there, it is kind of uncomfortable to wear, especially when you're wearing it for long periods of time. And if you look at a lot of the demos that Apple is showing where people are watching two hour long movies and playing games, I don't think you'd be very comfortable wearing this for, an, for a long period of time. You don't wanna feel like you're wearing something. And with this, you do feel its weight and it does get a little unwieldy. It does get uncomfortable. You do have to rearrange it sometimes and move the dial to tighten it or loosen it up. And a lot of people mentioned how when I took off the Apple Vision Pro, I actually had a red mark here while I was filming. So yeah, that, that actually happens to me quite a bit. And it's not that I'm wearing the super tight. I don't wear the super tight and I still get redness on my forehead. For most people, I think it's going to get uncomfortable. It's not going to be fun wearing this. And I feel like with the second generation or the third generation, when it gets a little smaller, more compact and lighter, I think that might be the one for most people. This one, once again, it is a Gen 1 product. And if you look at all Gen 1 products, be it the first iPhone, the first Apple Watch, the first iPad, they look really, really hefty when you compare it to the current generation of iPhones and iPads and MacBooks and you know, you name it, everything has become thinner, smaller and lighter. And this device will also become thinner, lighter and smaller because right now it does get uncomfortable. I personally just have to be honest and say that I didn't like wearing this for a long period of time. Once again, it enhances my workflow, yes. But even when I'm working, I'm not wearing this all the time. I'm taking breaks, I'm taking this out of my head, you know going back to my Mac for, for simpler tasks. And when I really want those monitors around me, that's when I wear this. So that's point number one, the fact that this can get pretty uncomfortable. The second thing that I wanna talk about is its price. This is $3,500 and with taxes and everything, you're pretty much looking at almost a $4,000 device. And of course, if you add in other accessories as well, like for example, the, the travel case, this is a luxury device. This is not a device that you need. And there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are talking about why you need this device. I don't think anybody needs the Apple Vision Pro. Technically, we don't need anything, right? Um, but what I will say in today's day and age, you probably need a smartphone and you probably need a computer, right? Um, and other than that, whether it's an iPad or a Vision Pro, AirPods, those are all things you can live without. And of all the things that I just listed, this is definitely a device that you can live without because it is very, very expensive you could get a full-on Mac computer for less than what this costs. You could buy yourself an iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard 
and an Apple Pencil, and yet that will still be less than this. You know, if you do the cost analysis of this device and you really think about if it's worth the price, I don't think so. If anything, I feel like the future Apple Vision Pro might decrease in price once you know the technology matures and stuff like that. And obviously, this is a pro product where it's a little more advanced, more high performance, and stuff like that. Whether it's the iPhone versus iPhone Pro, MacBook Air versus MacBook Pro, iPad versus iPad Pro. The Pro is a device that not everybody needs. It has a additional performance features. So what I strongly suggest is that for its price, you're not really missing out. I think that this is a fantastic device. But like I said in the very beginning, this is a glimpse into the future, right? This is not the future. We're not there yet. But this is almost like a beta product. And to be honest, that's what it kind of feels like. It feels like a beta product that's out there for the public to reuse. And Apple's going to take that feedback and put that towards the second generation or third generation. Heck, there's even reports out there saying that people within Apple are saying that the full potential of this device will not be seen till the third or the fourth generation. And to be honest, that makes sense because look at any mainstream Apple product, whether it's been the iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad. In the beginning, it's a great device. As it kind of matures, it becomes far more advanced and far more accessible to a lot of people. And then people start seeing the value in it. So I think the same thing is going to happen with this. Right now, people are still kind of figuring out how to use this device. Some people want to do it just for entertainment. Some people like me want to use it for their work. But really, it kind of is a device that you at the end of the day still do not need. You know, I've told a lot of friends and family, just go to an Apple store and try it on, try the demos. But I actually kind of take that back because when you go to an Apple store, Apple is really curating certain experiences for you to be wowed. They're not giving that full day-to-day, -day, you know, lifestyle experience that you really need to know if this fits into your life or not, right? Yes, watching a movie looks really cool for a demo. Playing a game looks really cool for a demo. Yes, being surrounded in this cool 360 environment of you being in the mountains or a lake, that's really, really cool. But none of that is something you need. I can't recommend this. I love it, but I can't recommend it. But at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the Apple Vision Pro? Do you think it's currently worth its price? Or do you think we should all wait for the technology to mature for it to be worth its true potential? Whatever your thoughts are, leave it down in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.